prior to 2013, Billings Public Schools struggled with passing school levies. We had students sharing textbooks in class, making copies from textbooks. We had uh, students, classrooms with 30 plus students. We had staff shortages. Um, it was a real challenge to meet the basic needs of each and every student. A lot of people don't know about the, the full funding structure and it's, and it's difficult. 80% or so comes from the state and federal governments. But to be fully funded, the, the other 20% needs to come from the support from the communities. Just like anything, the costs increase every year. The need for our students increases every year. Uh, support for different things and programs to best serve the students increase. Things that our district is blessed with is the opportunity for our students to experience the many opportunities in career and technical education. So the 2019 mill levy passed and it brought a lot of opportunities. One of them was Bill Montana. Well, that has grown and then helped industry connect again to that bridge from the school and the education um, to industry. Students can come to our facilities get to learn about a piece of equipment in this case and and then explore and see what's out there to do. And they were learning from people who have 30 years, 20 years experience. It turned that switch on for them and they realized that they can do this. Everybody has different innate skills and abilities and you got to draw those out and, and career and technical education programs do that. Since I've been at the Career Center, that was the year that the levy had passed and I was able to use that funding to really bring in product that is current to the industry and show my students what is there right now so when they walk out of the doors, they uh, can go get a job in the industry knowing uh, what is the latest and greatest. There's a lot of research that shows the connection between mental health and academics and that they both need to be working at the same level to see the optimal success. Thanks to the last mill levy passing, we've been able to support students a lot more in our CTE uh, improvements and then also we've had more support with our mental health. I've seen depression on the rise, anxiety on the rise, suicidal ideation in the last two years. The district in particular has been incredibly welcoming. Um, to outpatient providers to come in, to sit in meetings, and kind of take a team approach. If the district were full funded, we would be able to add more resources for our students. That would allow us to really be the bridge for the students that are in school every day and allow them to be successful at learning. Every year that you fail a levy, that means less and less equipment. That means less and less books. Also, having to defer maintenance costs and things like that um, in order to maintain the budget that you have been allowed. So the 20% that is pushed to local control for a voted levy is crucial. It's competitive for our kids when you see that other districts throughout the state are consistently passing levies and providing that financial support for their students. We don't want our kids to get left behind.